Hey guys and welcome to the fourth episode of the MTA scripting school. First of all, thanks to my friend Oliver who made me this epic intro. It's just I love it. And there was no video yesterday because I had absolutely no time. I was busy all the day, so I'm sorry for that. I'm trying to upload at least one video every day. As I said, I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't really do that because I have much stuff because of my school to do and, and other stuff and ah. Okay, so in the last episode, we took a look. Uh, what do you want from me? No thanks. Okay, in the last episode, we made our first function. We just um, added two two arguments to it, and yeah, that's what we did. And we took our first look at this bit of code, the if statement. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at the if statement, and we are maybe going to write a little function. We will see. Okay. So now, what is an if statement? An if statement is used to compare something with another thing. Just like we did here, if color coded, so this argument is the same as false, then do this. Okay, so what can we do here? Let's just, we'll just write some code down here. A equals 0, B equals 5, C equals A, no, we not need, okay. Um, so A equals 0 and B equals 5. Now, what we can do with an if statement? If a equals zero, then put an end down there. That's just some, that's the Lua syntax. Okay, now if a is zero, I'll put chat box a equals zero. To e root, use i red, use i blue, use i green, and use color coded. So, okay. Let's just connect to the server, and now you will see what will happen if I did nothing wrong. <laughs> okay. And I'm in, and login, and start hello world. And you can see a equals zero. So our value a is the same as zero, as it compared here. Okay, so let's just, there are different, um, a few kinds of um, compare thingies, there's one, uh, there is this thing, these two equal signs, you can just use them to say is this the same as this, and yeah, this, not this, okay, you can also use this, this does mean if it's not equal to zero, let's just change a to r. A is not equal to zero. Now restart the resource. Hello world. And you can see a is not equal to zero. Let's change a to zero. I'm just gonna find. Hello world. Okay. And now you can see there's no more message. Because a is zero, and the message only gets outputted if a is not zero. We can also do if a is lower or the same as zero. We can do if a is higher or the same as zero. We can do if a is higher as zero or if a is lower than zero. These are the mostly, I think these were all, at least. These are the ones you are going to use very often. Okay, so basically that's an if statement. Now what you also can do is else um, else if a equals one, then the chat box a is one. You know what? We're gonna use our function show message a is one true and here we're gonna use 
a is zero. You see? I'm too lazy to use to write this function every time, so I'm just gonna use our function reward up here. Okay, restart this. Restart it, and now you can see a is zero. Let's change a to one. And now it prints out a is one. Pretty nice, huh? Um, just by the way, you can do... We will continue with this in a few seconds. In Lua, you can write comments by just doing this. Every code, uh, every thing that's here, that's grey, in Notepad++, will just be ignored. It's just for, um, for yourself to organize yourself in your code, like... Function to output a message to all players. Now I know function show message is a function to output a message to all players. You can also write multiline uh, multi comments by doing this. These two um, score thingies again, then these brackets, open these brackets, two brackets, it's important to do two brackets, and then close the two brackets. And now you can do call. write some comment here, some comment here, and some comment here. After this code here will be executed again. This won't. Okay. Now we could write else. Else is also an argument in Lua. Now we can write show message a is not zero and a is also not one. Restart it, a is 1, and now change a to 2, a is not 0, and a is also not 1. Works perfectly. Okay, so, another very important thing in if statements is, if a equals 0, or a equals 1. Now we can remove this, and now, we uh, we changed a to 1, now let's start. a is 0 or 1. Nice. Okay, that's working perfectly. And now we're gonna uh, um, declare another variable, lie equals true. And, and now in our if statement we write and lie equals false. So, and now we write else if a equals 0 or a equals 1 and lie equals true, then and put else here. Okay, and now we write show message a is not 1 and not 0. Not true. Okay, so what did we do here? We declared a variable which is called lie. Just you can call it whatever you want. I just wanted to do a quick, very uh, a quick pull here. And here in our statement, if a equals zero or a equals one, I like to keep my or statements in brackets. I just like to do it. You don't have to do it. Um, and lie or variable which we declared here equals false. Then show the message a is zero or one, and if um, if li is, um, and if a equals zero at a uh, or a equals one, and the the, uh, the bool lie equals true, then just lie to the player. Now restart, and you can see a is not one and not zero. Just the message reward here because lie is true. Now change lie to false. And now you can see a is 0 or 1. And that's yeah, basically everything you can do with if statements. There are some other things I think you will a little later about, not now. So yeah. Now let's update our show message function with a bit of code. If color coded equals nil. You can see, as I told you already once, Neil 
is nothing. So, if the player did not write co um, comma true or comma false here. And also what we're also gonna going are uh, what we are also going to do we are going to do if color coded color coded is not the same as false or wait, not, um and color coded is not the same as true and so, wait, and write more here. So, if color coded is not the same as false, or if color coded is not the same as true, this should do work if I'm right. Yeah. So, I'm gonna just use a little test for you guys to see this. Just give it everything. So if we restart it, there you go. It has a color code. Because we did not decant everything here. What if if we write false here now? It will not be color coded. And if we write true, it will be color coded. And if we write something totally random, <laughs> then it's color coded because our default argument, which we declared by doing this, is true. So this line of code does if the variable color coded is not the same as false or if the variable color coded is not the same as true or color coded equals no. nil. Then just use true as the argument player would have written. Okay. So that's basically how the if statement works. I think I didn't. For I think I covered everything for the if statement. Okay. So that was this was a pretty short episode. I'm sorry. I think it's pretty short. Let's just take a look. Ah, oh, 12 minutes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I covered everything in this episode about the if statement. And yeah, and, about, um, and once again, thanks to my friend Oliver for making me this awesome intro. I'm in love with it. <laughs> and yeah, if you have any questions, if you did not understood uh, anything or something or everything, <laughs> then just write a personal message to me on YouTube, on FFS, on Steam, on Skype, on on whatever you have me. And, um, I'm probably going to answer only on YouTube and on BFS Gaming Forum. Okay, I think I've covered everything now what I wanted to cover. I think I've said everything I wanted to say. So, in the next episode, we are going to take a look at the event handlers. Or maybe first the comment handlers. I will... I will tell you later. Okay. Then now have a good day and yeah. We'll see us in episode 5. Uh, hey guys, what I totally forgot to say is that there will be no, probably no video on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Because I just can't come up with time. I have um, 8 hours of school tomorrow. On Wednesday I have to study and stuff and uh so there will be no video on Tuesday and on Wednesday and what I also forgot to say in episode 5 we are not going to take a look at by um at event handlers or comment handlers we are going to take a look at math in Lua just for a bit maybe we are going to cover the uh, event handlers or comment handlers a little bit but not very much we are just going to take a look at math and that's it so thanks for tuning in and bye